What's up, divas? It's your girl, Tamara Ivy, here with Ashley TV. Joining me on the pink couch today is the one and only Miss Yasmin Arrington. How are you, Miss Thing? I'm doing well, Miss Ivy. How are you? <laughs> this is uh, this one here. She's too much. <laughs> she will not call me by my first name, but it's okay. So how's everything? What's going on? Thank you for joining us today. My name is Yasmin Arrington. Um, I go by Yazzie Speaks or Yasmin. Uh -huh. that's, that's the stage name. I founded a nonprofit back in 2010 mm -hmm. called Scholar Chips. Mm -hmm. And the CHIP stands for Children of Incarcerated Parents. Mm -hmm. And what we do is we provide college scholarships and mentoring and a support network for youth who have um, an incarcerated mother, father, loved one, you know, caregiver, and they would like to continue their education in college or, you know, get vocational training or certification. The story behind it is that my own father has been in and out of jail and prison my whole, my whole life, mm -hmm. pretty much. Um, and so, you know, I just understood the financial struggles, the emotional struggles that come along with having an, a parent that's incarcerated, missing out of the home. It's, comes with a lot of shame yeah. um, and stigma and taboo. A lot of people may have that experience or have a family member, you know, they know someone that's incarcerated, but we just don't talk about it. Right. Um, and so my whole part of my mission with scholarships is to uh, empower young people and let them know that, you know, yes, this is a part of your story, but you can, doesn't mean that it has to limit you, you right? Yeah. Your future, what it, whatever it is that you want to do and accomplish. So we have 29 scholars to date. We've Amazing. awarded, we've, thank you, thank you. We've awarded over $100,000 in college scholarships. All right. Yeah, and this will be, this is our sixth year and our award ceremony is coming up July the 8th. Saturday, July 8th. Saturday, July 8th? Yes. Oh my God, you know what you're doing in DC, what you're doing is not only very amazing, but it will last forever with these scholars, okay? It's very important to know what you know models are doing outside of their modeling career. A lot of the times, a lot of people just wanna win contests and things like that and pursue their dreams and their passions. That's great. I am all for pursuing your dream. Everybody knows I'm a believer and a dreamer, but at the same time, there's hard, it's hard for, like you said, us to find you know, people in the community that are giving these types of services and saying, it's okay. It's, you don't have to be ashamed. Um, I'm here for you. Let's do this together, right? Yes, yes. Thank you so much for that. Yeah. Um, and my favorite part uh, is when, is during the award ceremonies and, and during the times that we get together. The scholars, they're right now they're from D.C., Maryland, Virginia area, but they go to schools throughout the country. And um, when they come for the award ceremony, I mean, like, tears are flowing tears of joy and the families and the scholars will come up to me and they're like excuse me Miss Yasmin and I'm just laughing they call me Miss Yasmin they're like we just want to thank you so much for the scholarship and for the opportunity and you know you really opened door and I just I just want to ball crying you know and it's amazing because I understand what like mothers feel like and or people that have um, nieces or nephews or daughters or sons, you know, like that sense of pride and happiness, you know, mm -hmm. to see a young person just doing very well, you know, mm -hmm. despite difficult circumstances. So I love the work. Mm -hmm. um, I don't plan on being an executive director for, for all the time. There's some other things that I'd like to pursue, but of course, I'm going to continue to fundraise for the organization. And where can we find information for those out there that are watching and they may be, you know, without their parent and or their loved one, where could we find more information about scholarships? Definitely. Um, so scholarships, we have a website. It's www.scholarchipsfund.org. Scholarchipsfund.org. And that's S-C-H-O-L-A-R, chips. Yep, like, -I like chocolate chips. Cookies. Like potato chips. Like potato chips. <laughs> <laughs> Stacking the chips, you know. Oh, there we go. Oh, I like that one. <laughs> Twitter, Instagram is at scholarships. Nice. Okay. Well, talk to us about your, your modeling career and, you know, why you had uh, took an interest in becoming a model. You're taking me back okay. a few years. So in my freshman year of college, I had a, a, a girlfriend who went to Guilford College, but she had transferred to Elon. We were in North Carolina and uh, she was a photography major mm -hmm. and uh, we met each other in statistics class. I can't stand math and I had to take the class 
but anyway, we were in a study group together, and one day she s says to me, you know, Yasmin, um, I have a project for my class. Would you like to be my muse? And I was like, oh, that sounds like fun. And I, I just got into it, and it was it was autumn time, so the leaves, you know, were, were changing colors, and they hadn't fallen yet. I mean, it was gorgeous on campus. Mm -hmm. So I got an outfit, and my hair, I mean, it was crazy. I had like a purple wig and all this kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. I could, I can really say that even now, mm -hmm. those images were amazing, mm -hmm. and there was something there, and my friend kept saying, yes, man, you should try mine. I was like, oh, no, you crazy. I was just like, there's no way. There's no way, because I heard horror stories, you know, and I've seen these documentaries about, you know, young models, like, eating cotton balls and, like, binging and starting. I was like, I really don't think that's, I don't know if I can, I don't know if that's for me. But anyway, I started Googling, thank goodness for the internet, for Google, and I learned about this plus modeling, curvy modeling, full-figured modeling, and I looked at people, I saw people like Lyris and Christina Mendez. So once I started researching, I said, hmm, maybe I should just check this out. And then I started going to their workshops. And then when things like uh, Curves Rock came out and early on I applied and became their uh, spokesperson. Mm -hmm. And then I got to sit in the front and see the show. Oh my goodness, I was like, wow. I said, oh, this is amazing, I have to do this. And so it's just been a progression. Mm -hmm. I started auditioning for shows. Mm -hmm and started doing the shows and then I started connecting with the local designers mm -hmm. and said you know if you if you need work you know for your website or if you have a local fashion show please keep me in mind and I started passing out my business cards mm -hmm. so this year I made full figure fashion week I saw okay. that congratulations <laughs> thank you and I know Ashley Stewart is a sponsor yes so we I are I will be seeing you yes you will <laughs> so my hope is that if young people, uh, not just young people, but anybody, mm -hmm. if they can see like, okay, this young lady can come from, you know, humble beginnings and, you know, her dad has been in jail, yeah. her mom passed, but she's been able to overcome, overcome, then that hopefully will let people know like, no matter what it is that you're going through, you can still, mm -hmm. you know, whatever it is that you like to do, yeah. you can you still do it. do it. You are in school. You, you're continuing education and going to go, going on to get your master's. Yeah. You are a model, aspiring model. Yeah. You have your own company, scholarships, like, and you're 24 years old. Where, you know? I mean, yes, this country, we, we, the, America has a lot of great people. There's a lot of young people doing a lot of great things, but it's good to actually meet you guys in the flesh and say, you know what? Their story needs to be heard and however, you know, we as a company can help, you know, push your story out here, out there. You know, that's what we're here for. Uh, that means so much. You're going to make me cry. I'm going to try not to cry. Um, you look too pretty to cry today. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to. <laughs> but anyway, Miss Ivy, look, I can't thank you enough. I'm very grateful. I'm, I'm always grateful for the any platform like this. And my goal is no matter how far, you know, where life takes me and where I go, is to always give back and to remember the people who have helped me along the way. So Ashley is there, you know, one day I'm gonna have a big old check, you know, <laughs> and we're gonna go, we're gonna give some more scholarships. Yep. Like I That's just, what we're gonna do. Make yeah. sure that your story is heard and highlighted. And that's what Ashley TV is for. I wanna thank you for coming by today because this meant a lot to us, having you Likewise. on here and um, really showcasing, you know, outside of so Insta Instagram and social media, <laughs> we want to show all those fabulous poses yeah. that you always do. We want to show all of that, you know, that you have a brain and you're utilizing yes. it, you yes. know? Thank you. Thank you, Miss Ivy. Thank you, Ashley TV. Miss Ivy, I love it. Mrs. Mrs. Ivy, thank you. I'm trying to be a Mrs. <laughs> you're almost there, don't worry. <laughs> uh, this is Tamara Ivy, Miss Yasmin Arrington of Scholarships. And what college do you go to? Uh, the Howard University. Hello. The, not the, <laughs> the. the. Yes. Thank you so much for joining us today. We love you. And um, this is Ashley TV.